Hey, what's going on, man? I have spent the day at Life Point Church. Pastor Mike Burnett, Had Stephanie, and Pastor Grace. Four services. You did it. Come on, four hey, services. That's, we don't run no video around here, baby. Preach <laughs> four services. Right. Y'all have a great church. Twelve years old. Yep. Been here twelve years. And uh, and this is a military town. Yep. Incredible the difference that you're making. God has just done great things here at Life Point. I, I love him. He's a great Bible teacher. But y'all y'all do serve that. Yeah. And so you do it a couple times a year. Uh, many of you are, are participate with Serve Day July the 16th this year. And you can, um, why, why do y'all do Serve Day? How has it been in your church? And what, t- Tell us the story real quick. Well, it's part of our values. We love God, we love people. One of the easiest ways to show love for others is serve them with no strings attached. So we, we adopted an annual Serve Day and then our people wanted wow. to do more. So we do it quarterly now. Yeah. Uh, once a quarter, it's awesome. And we're in a military community, which our What does people, that mean for you? Well, they have a DNA of serving, wow. sacrifice, laying down your life for others. So it, uh, it seems like a natural fit for our community. Plus, it's Jesus said if you want to, um, he didn't come to be served, but yeah. to serve. I think if you want to be more like him, serve people. What an amazing people you serve here. Yeah. Hey, you said that like 50, 60% of the people are connected to, yeah. the, to, the, to the military base. And what is that like? I mean, I mean, yeah. you're, you're you're pastoring some of the great people of our, our country. Clarksville's home of the 101st, which is a aviation, yeah, airborne, air assault, all of that. It's it's a large army post here, Fort Campbell installation. Also, some special operations units that, um, if I tell you too much about them, oh, okay, hurts. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't hold hurt. back. I don't but, want to be hurt. Uh, yeah, about 60. You, you made me preach four times. That's hurt. I'm hurt enough. <laughs> about 60 percent of our church are either active duty, retired, or the family of soldiers. And uh, that, that's just a different breed of folks. And uh, yeah. it's an honor to serve our nation and to serve the body yeah. of Christ by serving. Do, do they have, does that create other type of needs because oh, sure. of that? I mean, we hear a lot about that. I mean, th- to serve people that have been involved with that yep. and their family, they're deployed. Yep. The, you know, the family, the children. So you guys obviously do that nonstop, but you probably have projects around that. Well, for sure. I mean, I, I have a totally different understanding of what PTSD, there you go. TBI looks like, what the trauma of uh, war looks like, uh-huh. and uh, and what it does to a family. And so there we go. it's a real honor to serve there. But but then that creates, you know, the, the needs of veterans, homelessness, yeah. uh, addiction after combat. Yeah. Yeah. There's just a lot of different needs that come with military community that we're honored to be a part of serving and helping. And we always do it with no streets of Texas. What would you say to a church that we don't have a lot of money, we don't have a lot of people? Can we still serve? Can we still make a dent? Oh yeah. Uh, and why is serving important? Well, serving is free. It's it's free to extend the hand. You can cut your neighbor's yard. You can trim bushes. We had a we had a family in our church. Their neighbor's yard story. had overgrown completely. And he's one of our board members. He goes and knocks on wow. the guy's door. He turns out he was a widow, and he was totally rejecting our help. Wow. My friend, he's a board member. He said, Hey, we just want to come and clean up your hedges yeah. and trim your bushes and just cut your grass. And the guy yeah. was adamant. I don't need your help. You and your church, get out of my face. And he said, please let us come serve you. Get out of my face. Yeah. So their small group, finally, he agrees to yeah. let him serve. He sits on the porch the whole time angry, like there's an angle. What are you doing? And yeah. it cost us nothing to go cut his bushes, mow yeah. his grass. Within a year, he died. But the week before his death, that board member led him to Jesus. Wow. He gave his life to Christ before Can't he make met that him up. face-to-face. And it all started by serving, yeah. no strings attached, and it didn't cost us anything to That's cut so the guy's grass and trim the bushes. So yeah. we're a huge fan of Serve Day. That's great. And we don't just wait for those quarterly events. You yeah. do it any time. That's right. Always opportunities it, to serve. It, it, I love organized events like Serve Day on the 16th. Yep. But then the best is when it's organic. Yeah. And that's just happening. And Serve Day is, is wanting to be a catalyst for culture. Right. Like you talked about, it's a value. So jump on serveday.com. You can always go to servolution.org, uh, Instagram pages for Serve Day, Servolution. Okay. And we just curate ideas, yeah. constantly curating ideas so that you can have ideas or you can find out a small group. So, hey, it's going to be a great year, going to be a great Serve Day, yeah. July, the, July the 16th. Yep. So don't miss it, Serve Day. Can't wait. Bless you.